Okay, you guys, today we are working on putting the windows, well, not the windows, but the glass into a kit that we are working on. And typically you would use acetate, which I don't have any with me, but you know what it is. It's the thin plastic that you would normally cut and put behind windows. But today we're using something new that we had heard of on uh, a discussion with one of our podcast guests, Stephen Hayworth, about putting microscope slide glass in the back. So it's a little bit uh, untraditional. We have two walls that we already did it on. I'm kind of trying to show you what it did. And I'll show you. I don't know if you guys can get any reflection out of that. But it just adds a little bit different of a reflection to the glass. So we're up in the living room today. We're not in the workshop. So we're going to show you how to put the microscope slides in a set of windows. Um, they work for pretty, pretty easy. On Amazon, I went and I picked up this Amscope microscope slides box. There's a hundred of them in here. Uh, and it also came with a hundred slide covers, which is a same, it's, it's glass, but it's thin glass. It's a lot thinner. We haven't tried this yet. We've only tried the microscope slides. And I also picked up this uh, glass cutter. I think it was like four or five bucks also on Amazon. So we're going to show you how we did this all and show you exactly how to put microscope slides in because I think it actually adds a pretty cool effect. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is, let me bring it in here, a bowl of water, a dish, water dish, whatever, and I just put a dowel rod in there. We're going to use that to snap the glass. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. But basically, we will remove a slide. We're going to remove one microscope slide from the box. I'll set this aside. <clears throat> and we are going to measure the size of the glass that we need. Now this one, we, we try to go a little larger than it actually needs to be, just because uh, you know you want a little bit of overlap. So we'll probably just go to like right here, right where my finger is. I'll slide this out of the way, and I will cut the glass right on that line. You'll have to excuse the baby toy sounds. My dog just set a baby toy off. So I've etched into the glass, and we're going to take it over here, put it in our bowl with the dowel rod in it, kind of put the cut that we etched in over the dowel, just apply a little bit of pressure and it snaps cleanly to exactly where you want the snap. So we're going to dry this off with a paper towel and come back in a second. Okay, so now you see we have the microscope slide cut to the size we want. It'll cover those windows. So all we are actually going to do now is apply a little bit of glue around the windows and then just pop the the glass on top so let's show you how we did that sorry if this is shaky everyone I'm doing this one-handed with my GoPro so bear with me here so just gonna apply a little bit of glue you don't want too much because you don't want it just like acetate you don't want it to get on the part of the glass that you're going to see through the window. So the glue is there, and then we just take our slide, and we place it right where we want it. And that's it. Just let it set and dry. And it'll, it'll give you guys a pretty cool effect, a little bit more realistic of a reflection, as I hope you guys can see as I move it around, a little bit better of a reflection. Uh, and it's pretty see pretty simple, pretty cheap. I think in all it costs about eh, 10 bucks for the cutter and the glass. And then in the future, it'll be like five bucks for the the bunt the the box of glass, which really isn't that much when you consider how much time and effort it takes to cut acetate. And I kind of think acetate's a little bit of a pain, especially if you get any glue or anything on it. It's it's ruined. The nice thing about this was I did get some glue on one of the other pieces and it just scratches off real quick. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoy.